take a big, deep cleansing breath. Because we're going to shift this energy around a little bit. The title of my talk today is Good Vibrations. Take that in. Good Vibrations. Founded in 1889 in Missouri, Unity has long described itself as the Church of Practical Christianity. We believe that the core truth, Unity truth principles, can be applied to everyday life challenges by everyday folks with good above average results. To this day, Unity members continue to align with Missouri's state motto where we first began. Their motto is the show me state, show me state. Around the world, in unity churches, we are called to demonstrate the truth we know. We are asked to make a commitment to utilizing positive thought in our daily lives. And we are each invited to hold on to what works and to very freely release all the rest. Like a researcher in a lab, we need to see and feel and prove, prove to ourselves that this method works. It seems appropriate that Unity's headquarters are based in Kansas, the show me state, the show me state. Application of positive health-giving thoughts and beliefs, the use of words with wings and heartfelt positive prayers. We know, we know, can lead to amazing results. Because more than one of us in our midst has experienced what is commonly labeled a miracle. Like the calamity that inspired healing bombs, there is There is a near miss on a highway that logically should have resulted in disaster and the loss of many lives. And yet it didn't. Or like the dead end job that ultimately led to a dream job or the wrong turn that led you to your dream home. Do we call it all a hunch, a lucky break? Intuition, perhaps? Or could it be God's hand? Honestly, if God came knocking on your door today, would you hear it? There are some folks who always seem to come up short and others who always seem to have quote unquote, good luck. Well, let's take a look at those with seemingly endless good luck. When asked, these Folks often shrug it off. They say things like, oh, I don't know, I, I, I just kind of had a hunch. Or, wow, it just 
fell into my lap or a lucky break, I guess. Just the right vibes, perhaps. When our family became, became house hunters a year or so ago, we stepped into a couple of places that felt, well, I, I just have to say, they felt really sad. The people weren't there. It was just their home. It felt very sad and, and even kind of creepy for no discernible reason. And there were other places that had <laughs> real and discernible uh, tear and wear in their homes, but yet nonetheless evoked happy feelings, feelings of happy family gatherings and, and joyous celebrations. We talked about it together later, deciding to keep looking until we found um, a place that, that met our needs and also, well, had good vibes. People and places carry energy. I believe that God has given us the ability to both discern and then shift the energy in which we dwell. I am often a go with my gut instinct kind of gal, just as my engineering husband <laughs> might say, well, we'll just see if it really passes inspection with a very furrowed brow and stiff lip. He is often the just the facts kind of guy in our family. And we have found that over the many years that we've been together, we often find compromise. We find a middle way that seems to service well. So I ask you, where do you stand? Have you ever met someone and immediately felt like trusted old friends? Or for no discernible reason, felt the hairs on the back of your neck standing up and heard alarm bells going off. I believe that we can often perceive the energetic quality of the people we meet. In my family, we might say, she just had good vibes. We clicked right away. I did not realize that in fact, everything in the universe has a vibratory frequency. I also learned that we can measure these vibrations and that our vibratory frequency varies over time, in part due to diet and physical conditions, emotional stressors. Studies show that it indicates that maintaining a certain vibratory frequency results in better long-term health and even happiness even reportedly strengthening of emotional and spiritual practices. It, it, it's not so much that this is all new information, but rather that through advanced studies and more sophisticated equipment, we are now able to clinically measure and verify positive results accepted by modern Western cultures like our own. Scientists can now test and verify results while adhering to the commonly accepted 
medical standards. We know that the first step in raising your vibratory level is to remove from your body and your life all that you recognize lowers your vibrational frequencies. In Unity Teachings, we believe that letting go of that which no longer serves us is a crucial step forward. We also know that nature abhors a vacuum. It's not sufficient to let go of that which no longer serves us. We must also proceed to live the truth we know. So today, let's just take a little look at some of the practices we might consider. Practices known to raise our energetic body. And my friends, please take in what resonates with you at this time. And golly, feel free to leave the rest as always <laughs> alone. It's our unity tradition. Take what you will at this time. Focus, my friends, considering consuming, cleaning, high vibrational foods. I'm talking about real foods, not our spiritual right now. Fresh fright, fresh fruit, ripe vegetables, whole organic game, uh, grains and, and beans and nuts and seeds. Consider, my friends, reconnecting with nature. Try walking barefoot. Connect with the energy in the earth. Get rid of negative energy. When it comes up to you, well, write it down or go someplace self to scream, maybe in your own room, uh, jump up and down or punch a pillow or find a way to discharge it. You, you deserve to be free of it. And then of course, in unity teachings, Change your thoughts. Positive thoughts have a high vibrational frequency, while negative thoughts have low vibrational frequencies. My friends, let's make a choice. Go positive or go home. Go positive. Try participating in joyful movement. Simulate, stimulate the release of endorphins, which help us to increase our vibrational frequency. My friends, how about this one? Do what makes you feel good. Pick an activity that brings you joy. Maybe one you've been wanting to try or one that you forgot about. This can include anything from snuggling with a loved one or painting or playing a guitar. Find what soothes your soul and listen. Listen to music. Music has an extremely high vibrational frequency and crosses all boundaries. Make sure you're listening to something you enjoy. And when you get that one going, even if you're there alone, dance. Moving your body in a way that makes you feel good helps to increase your vibrational frequency. Turn up some of your favorite retro tunes and shake it, shake it good and spend time, for me especially, I like this one, for those who aren't allergic, spend time with animals. 
animals have a high vibrational frequency. And so when you connect with them, your own frequency increases. And if you don't have a pet, volunteer to walk your neighbor's dog. Ah, laugh, laugh and smile. Anything that brings you joy will help you to increase your vibrational frequency. Make a point to do something, no matter how small it is, do something to make you laugh or at least a small smile every day. And my friends, do not forget to show gratitude. You can make neurobiological changes with a shift in your focus simply on gratitude. Start with the basics of being grateful to be here now, being alive, being with friends of like minds. And of course, this is a unity sermon. So we're going to encourage everyone to increase their practice with meditation. Meditation has been shown to increase your vibrational frequency while calming the mind so that you're in a heightened state of consciousness. This one seems funny to have to remind people of what we do. Breathe. Bringing in this basic life force and flooding the body with oxygen is a great way to increase your vibrational frequency. Focus on taking the time to consciously breathe deeply, slowly, peacefully. And now to kind of wrap it all up, your vibrational frequency matters. It matters when it comes to your own health and happiness. And ultimately, it's up to you. It's up to you how high it is. No blame, no shame on others. It's up to us. Each and every one of us. I wish you well on this journey. You are joined by each one of us. And to you, I say, namaste. Namaste, my dear friends. Namaste. And so it is. <laughs>